What is up, Blue Gang? It's your boy David Matt, guys. Welcome back to another video. I hope everyone's having a blessed day, guys. As always, and today, as you can tell, as a thumbnail title, guys, we are finally opening up a new Michoacana in Norco, California. And if you guys didn't know, we actually own one in Rialto, California. So we have one already. It took us about four years, guys. Four years of hard work, and we're finally gonna open up a second one. I'm gonna be giving you guys a little tour um, of the shop, how it's going. We should be opening up in about two weeks. Hopefully so. So yeah guys, we're gonna go over there to Norco. And uh, yeah guys, it's Sunday. A little Sunday fun day vlog, nothing too crazy. So I'm just gonna take you guys along there. Come back and probably go on a little ride on the Can-Am, so let's go. I know you guys are looking at the truck in the back. It's looking sexy. Mama Luna looking sexy. Oh, for everybody that's in my DMs, or should I say from my taquach, just asking me what uh, setup I'm going with. Um, I do have, I'm rocking the, uh, the open countries. Uh, mud terrains 33 tires on some fuels um, I believe they are 20 by 10s on some two inch uh, two inch spacers so I do like the little wide look it's not too much that's why I like some people have them like way the hell over here I don't like him like that um, so it looks pretty beefy like that got bay with me Ooh! Look cute, cutie. Hi. hi guys do you guys miss my face let me see <laughs> guys i'm super freaking sad because ah, last week i was driving my truck right just like a normal tuesday right driving my truck then i look down tell me why i have a freaking check engine light oh my god i was so sad guys i've had my truck for four years now and i've it's it's so reliable um i've had no problems with it and that had to happen and then my sensor uh, light is on, but that's because my um, my sensor on my tire is broken. So that's an easy fix, but I'm more upset about that. Cause now I have to take it to the shop and hopefully nothing, nothing you know serious is going on, but I don't know, we'll see what happens. But like I said, guys, we're going to Norco right now. The shop is almost done. Um, like I said, guys, hopefully in about two weeks, we're gonna open. So for all my people that's in Corona, you know, Norco, what else, what else, what else, what else, what's close by? Riverside, Riverside. make sure you guys stop by, guys. East Valley, East Valley, East Valley? I don't know. But anyways, I am gonna post like the day we are gonna, like, you know, a specific day we're gonna open it. That way you guys can come to the grand opening. Say what's up to me, I will be there. We'll have like, you know, a little, um, what's it called? Um, the mascot. Well, yeah, we're gonna have a mascot there. We're gonna have music. And it's just gonna be fun. If you guys are wondering what's the exit, if you're coming on the 15, it is on 2nd Street. So, boom, you get off right here. All right, guys, we just got here. Like I said, guys, it's off 2nd. And then it's right here in this little sh uh, shopping center. There's a Burger King. Um, there's this restaurant, it's called The Black Horse. And then there it is, guys, it's right there. La Michoacana Real. So let's go ahead and park. Look at this. La Michoacana ice cream coming soon. She Are you excited? I'm excited to see Guys, it. Guys, Giselle hasn't seen it since when? She's been here before, but like it was like legit nothing. It was still like no. carpet. There wasn't nothing, huh? No, actually, if you guys come in here, just know that I painted the walls. Oh, yeah, we did. Oh, yeah, we did. <laughs> I forgot about that. Me and her were in here working, guys, painting the walls and stuff. So Yeah, so I already, you know, threw my little green of rice. So just know that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Bay, are you ready? <laughs> here, hold the camera. If I can find the right key. Bay. Come on in, guys. New Michoacana, number two. Look how nice it looks. I think it is a little bigger than the first location. And honestly, guys, it's coming out super nice. We're about 90, 99, 98% done. What do you guys think? What do you think, babe? It yeah, it's been a while. It looks great. It looks nice, huh? Yeah. So we did go with a different color um, as far as like, you know, the tile. Um, it, I don't know, it feels like pretty, it looks pretty fancy, huh? Yeah. So. It looks white. Looks what? Like white. Yeah, and white, white. So um, we got these, these are new. We don't have these in Rialto. So the plan was to kind of change it up a little bit, kind of make it look different from the first one. Um, but what was it called? What can I name those? I don't know. Billboards? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. 
<laughs> LEDs. Yeah, but it makes it like more like a yeah, modern so touch. These, we do have these over there in Rialto, but they don't have lights in them. So, you know, the LEDs kind of make it alive. You like retro, you can, modern. You can like smell it already. You know what I'm saying? Smell it. So, look, at, look at what they're going to offer. We got sandia locas, locas. Sandia locas. Oh, you want to tell them? Yeah. Them? Like um, Cheetos oh. con queso. What is that called? Tosti locos, nachos and jalapeno, and of course paletas done by yours truly and his father. Catch, catch uh, Giselle working here on Sundays. <laughs> And then over here on this one, uh, what is that called, Miss? Oh, it's oh, it's a chilindrina, right? <laughs> Una chilindrina. Yeah, so guys, that's called a chilindrina. Uh, and then we got the esquites over here. For Elotes, uh, and then obviously they will sell esquites. And then we just finished setting up the, the barra. It looks super nice. This came from Mexico, straight in Mexico. Oh, and turn it on, doesn't oh, it turn on? Yeah, guys, look at this. You guys ready? One, two. Woo! So obviously when it's dark, like when it gets dark, this is going to be turned on. So again guys, we're going to be in Norco, California. If you guys don't know, Norco is known for like their horses. I legit, everybody in Norco has a horse. There's so many ranches out here and it's super nice. So we just got the fridges too. All these fridges are going to be filled with uh, ice cream. These three and then this one right here is going to have, I, th I believe, paletas. And we're missing one for the water. So for all the agua fresca, we're gonna have to put another one somewhere in here. I think right here in the corner. See, there's like a spot that's open. So we have to buy one more fridge. And then we do have to get obviously the seating, but that's like, you know, last. That's, you know, super quick. But what's important is um, final inspection. So we haven't done that. We're just waiting on health inspection. And once it passes, let me give you guys a little tour. You guys already seen the front. Like I said, guys, we went with this nice tile right here. Um, as far as the walls, same thing um, as the first one. You got the pink lines with the purple. You know, kind of brings that out a bit. Over here, we got the public restroom right here. And the guys, look how it came out. Super nice. Yeah. And I feel like this shop came out way better than the first one. Like everything, we're going all out. So bathroom. And uh, you know, brand new toilet, obviously, right? So hopefully nobody, you know, you don't get no knuckleheads over here and start tagging it up. Okay, so let's go. That's the bathroom. Moving on over here, you got the register area. Oh yeah, and then the city also asked for like a sneeze guard. So you know, COVID, you know, you have to put like a little guard right here. Brand new tables. The then fridge. right here we got a brand new fridge. This is where all the sodas, you know, waters, the yogurt, the yogurts, everything's gonna go right here. So you know, if someone got like, you know, say like some chips with cheese, and they're like, man, I want something to drink, you know? They're gonna be standing right here, and they're gonna want to drink, you know, a Coke or a Gatorade or something like that. So we have to put this close to the register. Now over here. This is like the, the, the workspace for all the workers, you know what I'm saying? This is where, where all the magic happens. Where all the magic happens. So if you ask for uh, an esquite, um, chetos con queso, uh, tos locos, everything's going to be made right here, guys. So brand new fridge as well. This is where all the, all the fruit goes. What else goes? All the mayo, mantequilla, queso, everything goes right here. So when you ask for like um, some tos locos, it's all going to be right here, all the chips. So some tosti locos, boom, I grab the, the tostitos, you know, get the plate. I can like, imagine myself already making some chips. <laughs> then this is for the, the corn. So for all the, you know, like the corn on the cob, it's gonna go in here. To keep it warm? Yeah, to keep it warm, because we do offer two types of corn. We got the white corn, which is, you know, AKA Mexican corn. And then we got the yellow corn, which is sweeter. So you would get the corn on the cob, put it right here and we'll chop it. You know, if you want it in the stick, we could do that. Or if you want it in the cup, you know, we do that right here, so. Boom, this is for the corn. Then this one is for the white corn. This one, and then over here we have the nacho cheese, and then we have um, the chocolate. So if you want like chocolate fudge, you know, that hot fudge that gets hard, that goes right here, so. You could always dip your paletas in that. Yeah, exactly, so if you get like a paleta, um, you can dip it in chocolate, so. What else can we say? Oh, I forgot the, we got the menus, so guys, uh, at the first location, the TVs were way over here on the wall. So, you know, obviously there's some people that can't really see far. So, um, our plan was to 
you know, put the menus a little bit, you know, closer to the customers. So we did build like a frame right here to mount the TVs a little closer. And honestly, guys, I feel like it came out really freaking nice. Okay, guys, this is my favorite area because obviously I'm the one, if you guys didn't know, I make all the ice cream. Um, I make paletas. It's not clean right now, okay? <laughs> We're still working on it, but come on in. This is the kitchen. This is where all the magic's gonna happen. This is where, the, you know, these, these hands are gonna make the, the ice cream, you know what I'm saying? So, we got a brand new machine uh, from Mexico. Here on this side is for all the paletas that's gonna be made. Never, guys, this is a brand new machine, never used. And then over here, this is the ice cream. Oh wow, it comes with two? Yeah, two. So we got two ice cream makers right here. And I'm excited. That's gonna be fun. Over here we got a new sink, you know. We got the racks. Nothing too, you know, exciting. But for me it's exciting because I'm gonna be working in this area. So we got a new fridge. New fridges, guys. You guys don't even want, I don't even want to talk about pricing on these because oh my god, these are expensive. So we got three little doors, three doors on this big fridge. Again, everything's brand new. Everything you guys have for yeah, so all this, this is for like the mayo, you know, all the chamoy, you know, and then all the nuts and all that are gonna go in here. And then as far as storage, you know, keeping like the boxes full of chips, everything. Oh, uh, hold on, let me see if it's clean, sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. So, oh my God, we're already, look at Stocking so, up. Yeah, we're already stocking up. So over here, we got all the shelves. This is where we're gonna keep all, everything. Like I said, guys, see, we, we got spoons, we got cup holders, we got chamoy, we got water. We're legit getting ready to open. Like I said, hopefully in about two weeks max, don't miss out on the grand opening. So anyways, we got two shelf, uh, three shelves on this side, one shelf. I think we, we are gonna add one more, a big one. And uh, that's that, guys. Let's go to the front real quick. You know what, can I order something? Yeah, okay, pretend you're coming in. Okay, oh, okay, okay. You ready? Okay. <clears throat> oh, thank you. Oh, they're talking Oh, whatever you want. Si tienen banana locas? No, I made it up. No, guys. There's only sandia locas, you know, uh, piña loca. I have pepino locas, no? Yeah, but I said banana locas. <laughs> Your face was like, what? <laughs> She's ready. Let me find out you're ready to work here, babe. Ready, ready to help. <sighs> so guys, this is it. What do you guys think? Make sure you guys comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about the new Michoacana. Um, I will be putting the address down below in the description. And uh, make sure you guys do follow me on Instagram. That way, you know, when we open, um, you guys can come through and just Say what's up to me and try some ice cream because I make the best ice cream in the whole IE. I don't care who's telling me anything. Right, babe? Not to toot his own horn, but he does make really, really good bomb, ice cream. Bomb, bomb ice cream. These are delicious. I love everything here, actually. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Los I know I make bomb ice cream because my, my grandma told me. Oh, your grandma? My grandma told me that. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this little tour. Um, I hope you guys like it. Honestly guys, it took us about a year to open and thanks to you guys Everybody that's been coming to the Michoacana. If you guys have came to the Michoacana to our first one Thank you guys so much for all the support. This wouldn't be possible Honestly, if it wasn't for you guys, you know coming in every day, you know, just supporting us So thank you guys so much Love you guys and now hopefully if we have time because it does get dark super early now Go to the house and go on a little Can-Am ride Let's go. All right, guys. I'm sad. We just got home, and it's already getting dark, guys. I, by the time I turn on my camera and get my camera on and all that, it's gonna be pitch black. It's 4:52, so it just. I hate the time right now. It gets dark quick, and it just it's annoying. So sorry about that, guys. I did want to film some Can-Am riding in the hills and stuff like that, but I guess. That's gonna have to wait, but for sure on my next video, guys, I am gonna do um, like a Vile vlog or some type of, you know, video at the Vile. It's been a cool minute since I've gone to an event. And honestly, guys, it's because right now COVID is super crazy. Um, I never told you guys this, but back in 2020, um, late 2020, I think it was like in, in November, I did get COVID and I was quarantined for two weeks. I couldn't work and it sucked. 
and I'm just I I really don't want to get um COVID again at all. I got it, and of course Giselle got it. She gave it to me. I uh, gave it to you. <laughs> but for those guys, like I don't want to get COVID again, which is why I've kind of been distant lately with the virus and all that. But I'm gonna go to um to our violin next, you know, for the next video. But I'm gonna be, you know, I'm gonna have my mask on, you know, sanitized hands and everything. So. Um, stay tuned guys make sure you guys subscribe comment down below tell me what you guys think about the new shop again guys I'm super excited. Hopefully in about two weeks. We are gonna open make sure you guys follow me on Instagram That way you guys know when I'm gonna you know, we're gonna open up so subscribe comment down below Say bye until the next one guys peace out